Vicki Loper. I'm the healing artist. And today we're gonna to be doing a little impressionistic painting of Saint Germain. He's gonna represent our divine masculine. A couple of weeks ago, I did uh, the divine feminine with Mary Magdalene. So today is the divine masculine turn. So before we do that, we're gonna go into alpha, which I always do before I create anything. And I use it in other ways too. I mean, sometimes I just use it for problem solving if I wanna get quiet because it's the most relaxed, it's the most creative brain state. So we do three cleansing breaths and then say down, down, down in a deeper voice so we can feel it throughout our body and our, our brain and, and everywhere so you can actually feel the vibration when you're doing it. Okay, so here we go. So now we're in alpha. So sit for a second and see how you feel. You'll feel more relaxed. You'll feel calmer. And I feel more clear. But anyway, it's, it's a wonderful state to be in. We're in it. It's a natural thing. We go through the, all the different brain waves every day with beta and gamma being the most creative. I mean, not creative, but, <laughs> but the most awake, alert, doing stuff, driving your car, all of that. And alpha's in the middle, and then there's theta and delta. Theta is right before you go to sleep, and delta is when you're asleep. So, let's get started on Saint Germain. I'm going to add a little modeling paste. This is Saint Germain. He's representing the Divine Masculine for us today. And the Divine Masculine includes things like strength, logic, action, protection, assertiveness, focus, purpose-driven, And we all have both masculine and feminine qualities. Some of us have some of the qualities more than others. It doesn't really matter. It's just the way we're made, the way we're built. And it's not about dominance or control. It's about healthy expression of power and leadership. And then I will tell you as the video, video <laughs> goes on why I chose St. Germain. Quite an amazing guy. So now I'm going to put some silver in our background and talk about the Divine Masculine a little more. Divine Masculine can also be the warrior, and not in a bad way, the warrior is the protector, action, strength, 
So the warrior energy can be good energy because the warrior energy can give us the courage to make changes. It takes courage for all of us to make any kind of change. So we can use that warrior energy for that to give us the courage to go ahead and make the changes and eradicate whatever we want to eradicate. First thing on the list would be, should maybe should be maybe should be fear so that we can get on with our changes and not worry about the fear. So I think that's pretty interesting is the, the divine masculine and the divine feminine, but the divine masculine, since we're talking about that today, is like all of the, the wonderful things about things that we consider to be strength and strong. And it's, it's not the, the negative parts of that. It's, it's just the strong parts. Oops, sorry. I do, I do that almost every video, but anyway. So when we're talking about the warrior, we're not talking about the negative warrior, the warrior that can be evil and um, doing things just for the sake of doing things. We're not talking about all that. We're talking about The warrior with integrity. The warrior that gives us the strength to do the things we need to do. So the divine masculine is also purpose-driven. Isn't that a nice thing? <laughs> Instead of just flitting around and, and not getting anything done but having a good time. And there's, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying that there is. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Sometimes we need to just flit around, right? And have a good time. Um, but purpose-driven, if we think about that for a minute, it's really a wonderful concept to think about, to have a purpose in doing something. So to use these traits of the divine masculine or the divine feminine, it, it takes a moment just to think about it. before you do something and see if there's some characteristic of the divine masculine that could help you with your task that you're working on. So Saint Germain is associated with the color violet. He is said to bring in the violet flame to the earth, for the earth to be transformed. That goes right along with what we're talking about with the alchemy and um, the divine masculine. Okay, I'm going to add a little more modeling paste. The artist's prerogative, right? I decided that I was was looking at him and I thought, you know, I wasn't going to put a shroud on him, but I am. It's the artist's prerogative. <laughs> right? 
in the middle of creation. Change what you were thinking in the beginning. Metaphor for life. Huh. Okay. Now I gotta wait for this to dry. Yeah, before I come back and add paint. So as I'm doing this, I'm still an alpha, and I hope you guys are too. If you're not, do the little alpha exercise. Like I was saying, Earlier, I do a, a lot of um, layers when I paint. And if you guys are painting, you might want to try some of that because it's blending. You know, I just added the silver. And I'm blending the silver. back with the violet. And I've got to let it dry a little bit and look at what I'm going to do next. Okay, to finish up our little painting, Archangel. <laughs> He's not an archangel. This is Saint Germain. I'm adding sparkles into his aura. And also, I want to remind you guys that I have a new Patreon page. It's the Healing Artist on Patreon. And what you get, you get four videos a month and they are longer than the YouTube videos and they have more content. The content is art related. You get more uh, instruction and also the spiritual goes more in depth so check it out and basically what it is I don't want you to be surprised when you get over there is I I do a longer version of the videos I'm doing on YouTube okay so here we have it my rendition of Saint Germain and talking about the Divine Masculine. So, think about the characteristics of the Divine Masculine and call upon them when you want to. If you need a little help in some area or another, you can call on the Divine Masculine or go back and look at the Mary Magdalene video and call on the Divine Feminine. It's balance of both, balance of both. We all have masculine, we all have feminine. And all of the characteristics are characteristics that we all use all the time. So anyway, we're going to leave that here today. And next week, I'm actually going to be doing blue bonnets. <laughs> Some blue bonnet flowers. A lady got a hold of me who studied under Ruth Mogford also. She's younger, a whole lot younger than I am. So we didn't have any classes together or anything. But um, she asked me if I would do blue bonnets. I said, okay, I'll do it. So that's what we're going to do next week. So you guys take care, take really good care of yourself, make it a good day. So you have a good day.